It's the seventh and final day of World Matsuri Week. Tomorrow is the grand finale, Japanese Classic Car Show Online, when we'll reveal the winners of our Kyusha Workmanship and Presentation Awards. But first, we've got one more day of great 1990s Neo Classics to show you. Let's jump right in. From Yamanashi, Japan, here's Masafumi Eto's 1992 Acura Integra. This resto mod Integra features a Coda B17A1 race tuned engine and MI spec coilover kit, as well as an interior modeled after USDM Integras. Hey, my name is Masakumi Eto. This is my car. Danny Aguirre sends us his Matador Red 1994 Toyota Supra Turbo from Carlsbad, California. Danny has owned this Supra for over a decade and is showing it at JCCS for the first time this year. Lee O'Donnell's 1994 Toyota Celica is a rare GT4 WRC model, one of only 2500 ST205 versions produced. Originally a JDM car, this stock GT4 WRC now makes its home in Los Angeles, California. Ryu Asada's 1994 Acura NSX has been converted into a replica of the Suzuka Circuit pace car for the 1991 Japanese Grand Prix. Ryu is a highly regarded Hot Wheels designer for Mattel, and this very NSX has been honored with its own Hot Wheels version, now available at a store near you. Stock original Mark IV Toyota Supras have become very difficult to find, and Kirk Hubbard's white 1994 model is a fine example of the breed. This Resto Mod 1991 Mazda MX-5 Miata belongs to Louis Maximiano of Buena Park, California. Louis's British Racing Green NA6 has been modified to evoke the classic roadsters of yesteryear, but with modern performance components. Pete Royea of Manhattan Beach, California built this period-style 1990 Mazda Miata as a tribute to his brother Dan and their shared passion for hitting the track. Pete sourced many of the tuning parts for his Miata directly from Japan, resulting in a purposeful, race-ready roadster. Here's Rick Howard's stock Survivor 1991 Suzuki Cappuccino out of Riverside, California. Rick is showing this three-cylinder turbocharged K car at JCCS for the first time in 2020. Honda's answer to the cappuccino was the Beat, and this 1992 model comes to us from Stephen Ashburn of Leeds, England. This car is a stock original, and I confess that the Beat cassette is a nice touch.
Ippei Takahashi of Nagoya, Japan presents this 1991 Honda Street G van. Ippei only recently acquired this stock micro van, and we're happy to welcome this car to JCCS 2020. Also coming to us from Japan is the 1992 Daihatsu Hijet pickup of Kenta Kawaguchi. This resto mod Hijet features Decotora style steering wheel and shift knob, which should remind all of us to dream big. Koji Sakamoto of Nara, Japan sends us this 1993 Toyota Corolla GT. A project in progress, this super white AE101 has a 20 valve 4AGE engine under the hood, making for one stealthy sleeper. From Manila, the Philippines, here's Jonathan Lim's 1998 Toyota AE111. A project in progress, Jonathan's car features a blacktop 4AGE, a 6 speed stick, and limited slip diff. We'll be back with more cars of the 1990s following this message from Tain USA. Thanks, Tain, for being a longtime supporter of JCCS. JCCS and Tain USA have a relationship dating back nearly a decade, and we know many of you depend on them for all of your suspension lowering needs. In 1985, Tain was established in Yokohama, Japan, followed by Tain USA in 2001. Tain USA's Downey, California location is here to meet the demands of North and South American customers. If you haven't visited Tain USA, here's a look inside their showroom. And now back to the cars of the 1990s here on day 7 of World Matsuri Week, presented by Japanese Classic Car Show. Rob Pia of La Puente, California presents his 1994 Acura Legend sedan. This resto mod legend features a number of JDM trim pieces, as well as pulled front and shaved rear fenders. This 1992 Nissan SEMA comes to us from Ricardo Estrada of Winchester, California. This JDM SEMA is creatively modified in VIP style and features color-changing demon eye headlights and halos, which Ricardo believes to be unique to his SEMA in the US.
Yuichi Kobayashi has owned this 1992 Toyota Celsior for 20 years and presents it for the first time at JCCS from his home in Mie, Japan. Yuichi paid particular attention to this car's period correct appearance as shown in its delicate lace seat covers. This 1992 Nissan Sunny 1800 GTS has been converted to USDM Sentra SE appearance by Yasuhiro Mori of Mie, Japan. Already a rare survivor car, this Sunny turned Sentra has been dressed up with a core wood interior reflecting Yasuhiro's love of Hawaii. Auric Go's creatively modified 1999 Mazda RX-7 comes to us from Quezon City, the Philippines. With a heavily built 13B good for over 430 horsepower and an Olin's road and track coilover suspension, this FD3S is all business. I'm Ori and this is my 1999 Mazda RX-7. Only 560 Nismo Edition Nissan Skyline R32 GTRs were built, and this one has found its way to Oliver Severino of Yuma, Arizona. Oliver has upgraded this GTR with a wealth of Nismo parts. He's showing the car at JCCS for the first time this year. This stock original 1991 Mazda RX-7 convertible comes to us courtesy of Samuel Edmonds of Loma Linda, California. Samuel acquired this original Survivor within the last year and is showing it at JCCS for the first time. Luong Sam of El Monte, California presents this 1991 Nissan 300ZX. Born a naturally aspirated car, Luong has converted this Z32 to twin-turbo specification and that's just the beginning of the upgrade list for this creatively modified Plasma Red Slicktop Z. Marco Palinar of Manila, the Philippines, restored this 1996 Nissan Starlet Glanza V from a bare shell X autocross racer. The resulting Restomod build was named Best Two Door at the 2015 Philippine Toyota Fest. It makes its JCCS debut this year. Here's the 1993 Acura Integra of Paul Perez from Walnut, California. Modified in period style, Paul's Integra features a B18C ITR spec engine and ground control coilovers underneath. With a different take on a 93 Integra, here's Danny Vasquez's Aztec Green example, coming to us from Provo, Utah. Danny has upgraded nearly every component on this Integra, from trim pieces to engine and suspension mods. Finally, from South St. Paul, Minnesota, here's Josh Hansen's custom-built Honda Rod. Based on a 1933 Ford, Josh takes the classic American street rod look and applies a bit of Japanese power courtesy of a D15B VTEC. Hi, my name is Josh. This is my Honda Rod.
And now it's time for Kyusha Trivia, brought to you by Japanese Nostalgic Car. Japanese Nostalgic Car is the premier English language site for classic Japanese cars. And each day during World Matsuri Week, they'll be bringing you a trivia question to test your Kyusha knowledge. If you answer correctly, you'll be entered into a daily drawing for a sticker set from JNC and JCCS. To submit your answer, go to JapaneseNostalgicCar.com and click the JCCS 2020 link. And now, here's today's Kyusha Trivia Question. Today's Kyusha Trivia Question is sponsored by Toyota. Why did Chief Engineer Tetsuya Tada describe the A90 Supra as a love letter to tuners? Go to JapaneseNostalgicCar.com to submit your answer. Good luck. That's it for the cars of the 90s and for World Matsuri Week. Tomorrow is the grand finale, Japanese Classic Car Show Online 2020, when we'll present our Kyusha Workmanship and Presentation Awards, as well as a host of special awards from our media partners. Thanks so much for being a part of this historic event. I'm Patrick Strong for Japanese Classic Car Show, and I'll see you tomorrow for JCCS 2020. Shut